Once I was clueless and pathetic just like you. Sitting in front of the TV, playing video games, getting fat. I was a loser. But what if one day someone gave you the chance to escape your boring little world? Leave it all behind. Only there's one catch. You have to become a killer. The first lesson was simple. I needed to know what it felt like to put a bullet in a body. Some people think killing is just about pulling the trigger. Well, they're wrong. Killing's like dancing. When the music starts, you gotta move. Learning to put a bullet between someone's eyes is easy. Anyone can do it. The hard part is blowing their brains out without them even knowing you're there. Sometimes the bastard you're aiming at sticks to your ass like a stubborn little dingleberry. That's when you need to make that shit stay and think twice about showing you his face. Freak! Fuck you! Guns aren't the only way to give someone a one-way ticket to hell. See, sometimes you gotta take a more personal approach. So, what would you do? Go back to your computer and search the net for jailbait porn? Or would you take the chance to change history? become a weapon of fate. For the first time in your life, you're in control. What if everything you knew about your life was a lie? It could mess you up pretty good. Make you do things you didn't think you were capable of. I wanted to know why me. Well, what I found out is that the truth sucks that it was destiny I would become a killer. It always ends with a killer. Now, usually the bastard impregnating my mother with lead wakes me up. Well, not today. Okay, whoever's up there picked the wrong fucking apartment. Three months ago, if I'd been awakened by a couple of cops rummaging through my place, I'd have been pissing myself and trying not to let them see me cry, but, uh... Well, a lot can happen in a short period of time. C'est plan qui est derrière le cadre. I'd been looking at that picture for days. I thought I knew every detail. Shit, I hate being wrong. Bitch man! First 
week at my dad's apartment and I'm robbed by a couple of French assholes in SWAT gear. Allez, viens par ici. Je préfère ta putain de merde. You want me to shoot your other leg? What did you take from that picture? When I catch you, that limp's gonna be the least of your worries. Time to show these French fried fuckers how it's done. You gotta run out of med soon. You fight well, Wesley Gibson. That runs in the family, shit pants. Yes, of course. But so does dying. What the fuck is the gun out? Trying to get the shit the helicopter. This is you and me now, Gimpy. That shield is in the fucking structable. Maybe if I pin him down, I can get a better angle. Finally. Now let's see what all the fuss was about. Where is it? Uh, go to hell. You first. Hmm. No mercy, just like your father. But you deny the law. Curious. Let's get to know each other. Damn. I'm not as sharp as I once was. Are you going to shoot me, Wesley? Pekorski, a munitions specialist for the fraternity. He was a friend of my father's. At least that's the way he told it. Who is she? They called her the Little Spider. A runya. From the Barcelona fraternity. If memory serves. You came here to warn me about her? More about the fraternity's new interest in everything Wesley Gibson. They were all speaking French. Yes. The Paris fraternity. Fanatics, one and all. Your destiny and theirs have been intertwined for decades. Since the day you were conceived. Some of the things they taught me, not everybody can do. You gotta have it in your blood. Now, don't piss your panties if you can't see your target. 
What if no one ever told you that bullets fly straight? What would you do? You really think pulling off crazy shit like that comes for free? You gotta deserve it, man. Soon you learn there is a whole load of shit you can do with just a gun. They told me my father could conduct the symphony orchestra with his, and they were right. Je la mets dans mon chapeau. Elle me dit, il fait trop chaud. The song. Je la mets dans un My mother was one of them, an assassin. And you. Were an abomination that had to be dealt with. Your father, however, had other ideas. Elise, Elise, do you copy me? I'm here, my love. Are you all right? Oh, a little sore, but I can travel. Good. What of the Brotherhood and the Immortal? He's already looking for us. Complications. Where are you? You can find me at the corner of Avenue de Bretagne. Stay put, Elise. Kill anyone who comes near you that doesn't have my charm or my good looks. <laughs> <laughs> I already have a little mouse with me that has both. But yes, I will. It's no good, Elise. The immortal is onto us. You're gonna have to make a run for it. I'll cover you. Just follow the trail of blood. Now, move! Still trust me. Still, always. My son, he is beautiful. You were expecting less. He's forbidden by the code. He shouldn't be here. Mm, and yet he is in my arms. Give me the boy. Our son, Cross. Our son. Elise! No! Never. Let him go. 
go. The shooter, who is he? The immortal. The head of the Paris fraternity. To a fanatic like him, your parents violated the code of the loom. And the Paris fraternity is here now, in Chicago, because of me? Not only because of you. Bukowski told me the Paris fraternity would first move to secure the loom, so at least I knew where I'd find the bastards. The loom of fate room. All this and not a goddamn cape in sight. Feels like I was just here yesterday. I hope they ordered some extra body bags. This place up good, huh? Rats and explosives, a match made in heaven. Is she here? Have you found her? Yeah. We locate no body. Son of the killer may have taken special interest. In <laughs> Perhaps he trachnul Fox's horse before it gets too cold. Shut up. He's not like you. Until Brummel gets here, clean this up. Then we'll deal with the loom. Of course. But you are going to help? Do you have any idea how much I paid for this? Au revoir, Fuchka. Back to work, Gandon. Must clean entire floor by night. The fraternity had betrayed me like they betrayed my father. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have any problem with payback. Hey, Sputnik, why don't you just give me your arm and we'll forget all about this shooting at each other thing. Secret language of the fraternity. The tattoo, binary code. I knew it was important. So, I had to take it with me. My, Wesley. You've taken to all this rather quickly, haven't you? Binary code, what's it mean? Who did it belong to? The Russian. He didn't need it anymore. He is... was... a guardian. When a loom is to be moved, three are sent from our various fraternities. Each carries a unique tattoo that is a partial code for where the loom is to be delivered. And every fraternity has guardians? Out of necessity, as they do seem to attract misfortune. 
You know, that used to scare the shit out of me. My doctor thought I was having an anxiety attack. If they only knew. Let's go, move the fucking button! Now, only a moron would think that that is all there is to it. But, if you're lucky, you'll stay alive long enough to realize that there's a big difference between shooting a gun and being an assassin. Just try and get me. I'm gonna need another way off this plane. Think, damn it. The cockpit has an emergency hatch and parachutes. <laughs> escape for you here. Why? Why'd you do it? Have you asked yourself the same question? Elise would be alive if you hadn't infected her with your seed. That seed has a name. Wesley? Yes, I know. And I have something of his cross. This. You son of a bitch. Only motel. Or maybe you will learn to fly. Shit. I can't fly, you asshole. Drive. Find the other two Guardians, and you will know where they plan to take the Chicago Loom. 
Is it true the immortal had a bullet with my name on it? Yes. I believe so. How do you know? Because I made it. The Paris fraternity ordered a hundred more just like it. I'm meeting their buyer, a man named Brummel, in half an hour. Care to tag along? Chicago, Chicago, my favorite place to snipe in. Shit. Bikorsky was on his own. I figured he'd understand. I gotta get a closer look at Brummel's tattoo. Cubicles. God damn. I was kinda hoping that becoming a super assassin meant I'd never have to see them again. It's on my boss, Wesley. And I'm tired of it. Well, I aim to please. Then your bloody aim is shit. I came for the loom, not for you, asswipe. But now, I'm gonna kill you. Just for fun and a laugh. <laughs> How about you hold this? You're slow, you're dumb. I gotta get closer, he's not moving anywhere. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to kill this pussy bitch from back here. Oh. Enjoy watching me die, fuck. Just staying for the theater of it all. Actually, um, I need something from your corpse. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, why the fuck didn't you say so? Take it. Remember, this was your call. And I gotta give you credit, man. I would have screamed like a bitch if that had been me. <laughs> the time. Where's it at? I'm guessing about three. the dynamite. Fuck me. And this is coming from a dude who flunked Jim. The second piece of the puzzle. Literally. How'd they know? How did they know? Sorry? How the fuck did they know you were in Chicago? It was the kill order for my father's safe house. 
That's what you're after, isn't it? It's an important piece of fraternity business, and it should be protected. Your father never had the chance to tell you how this all began. Well, it started here. Your father thought he was answering a distress call from Sloan. Are you sure they're going to make a move against us? Your previous dealings with the Paris fraternity have been less than cordial, shall we say. You think this is about me? The French believe you went rogue in killing one of their own aboard that jetliner. You gave me that kill order, Sloan. Headed for the loom of fate. surprise you to learn that this has happened to me before and you know how I feel now you have seen it with your own eyes Charles cannot be trusted you must meet his fate To know why my father put me through this. Why he didn't just tell me the truth when he had the chance? This will lead you to his burial site. It is in the sacred fraternity catacomb. Shame that I only really got to see Cross's eyes in death. Usually, I was forced to endure the cold blue glare of his mask. Oh, son of a bitch. Fuck, I have to go. I've seen enough of Chicago, Wesley. I'll find you. Where I'm going, that won't be possible. I guess snowboarding's out. Fucking helicopters again. When I get back to Chicago, I've got to get my pilot's license. I have to get into that switch house and get this fucking cable car moving again. Now that that switch bitch is out of the way, I can get back to the cable car. Oh, 
Va voir le corps Non, toi. Toi Il est mort, on l'a tué. Bah il faut s'assurer Vous êtes un merde. Rien. Elle est pas là. Impossible. Man, you'd think Aranya would hire some better goons than these mental midgets. Get inside before that asshole comes back with the chopper. Ready to die? Yikes, don't we at least get to mate first? <laughs> I'm not that spider. Who wants to be a widow? Her code was shorter than the others. I'm sorry, but this is mine. I gotta tell you, I wouldn't have minded making her scream another way, but what the heck. At least her ankles were skyward. Now I knew where they planned to move the loom, the location of the Paris fraternity. But before I could go there, I needed to see the real killer. Alright, dear old dad, where the fuck are they hiding you? <laughs> Must be getting close, because this place gets creepier by the second. Lincoln, Gandhi, the killers of Budo, Rabin, Jesse James, shit, maybe even Julius Caesar himself. Their assassins are all probably buried here, and will be someday if they still walk the earth. I was among the royalty of death, and I was looking for their king. We never really had a chance to talk. I didn't know what I would say. Hey, it fits. Hey. Well, not perfect, but close enough. Kind of like us. You know, the man who killed Mom, the immortal. I don't think you got him. I think he's still alive. I know.
sure I trained to be the assassin. But I was born to be the killer. Fucking snipers, I gotta time my moves. Come on, if you can't hit me before I get to that doorway, what are you doing with a sniper rifle in the first place? Here, snipey, snipey, snipey. Looks like someone forgot their friend. Time to pop some heads. Two little three dead froggies. Four little five little six deader froggies. Almost at the church. And locked. Big fucking surprise. Well, I'd already descended into hell. How much worse could this be? The prodigal son returns. These tunnels have got to lead to the church. I just hope there aren't any zombies. and 20 foot high wall decorated with skulls. Guess I must be getting close. Shit on an altar. You think God forgives shedding blood on hollowed ground? I'm here to repay you for your sins. Time to beg for forgiveness, suckers!
No, you can't be serious. Hiding at the top of a bell tower? Fucking French are so melodramatic. For it just for making me walk up all these fucking stairs. finish what my dad started. And there he was, the immortal. The bastard who ruined my life before it began. Hey, I like what my dad did to your fucking face. Fate did this to me and fate what you hear. You killed my mother. No, 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 it was you I was after. Elise accepted the will of the moon. She has violated the gods. I simply reported it and the loom issued her punishment. Death! And the loom determined her agent of fate. A dream always ends the same way. It always ends with the killer. This is not what I wanted for us. We must honor the code. Look at him, Cross. He is worth dying for. He's worth killing for. Stop! Your baptism, Wesley. In these very waters, only now there is no one left to protect you. Death. Fear. This guy moves really fast for a blind fucker. My mother and father died because, like you, they were fanatics because they trusted what a fucking, a fucking rag? Faith in the loom. You're so sure of yourself, of your righteousness, but life is full of doubts. It's not blind faith, and you aren't God. If there is no God, then it is our duty to create him. No great human endeavor ever been accomplished without belief. Why would you quit talking shit and die already? You don't know what you are or what you have. But I do know what I am. I'm an asshole with a gun and a cool suit. A uh, very cool suit. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot I have something with my name on it. But I think it belongs to you. <laughs>